Welcome to Intermath, Grade 6, EQA Your Help, and I'm with you again, and this is uh, Lesson 3 of the series, and today we'll be taking up two questions as usual. So let's see what the questions are. So in this question, we're comparing the prices at the two stores. When we're given the number of units, the number of something, in this case flags, and the total price for a certain amount of flags, in order for us to compare the two deals, we need to find the price per unit. So in this case, I would need to divide $6.95 by 5 for store A and divide $4.80 by 3 for store B. I would have to find the price per one flag in each store and then compare the two prices in order to find out how much one is cheaper than the other. So, in order for me to find out how much I need to pay for one flag in store A, I need to divide $6.95 by 5 and that is $1.39. In store B, it's $1.60. I divided 480 by three. So what is the difference between the prices of one flag in each store? 160 subtract 139. $1.60 subtract $1.39. The difference is 21 cent or 0.21 of a dollar. In order for you to get full marks for this question, you need to show every single step in your solution, since this is an open response question. Let's move on to the next problem. So in this problem, we're dealing with a similar situation where you need to calculate the rate per one unit. In this case, you need to find out how many students are in one class and then multiply the number of popsicle sticks required for one student by the number of students in that class. So I know that there are 75 students in three classes, then it means that in one class it's 75 over 3. 75 over 3 is 25 students. There are 25 students in one class. Then, one student requires 2,406 popsicle sticks. Then how many do 25 students need? 25 times 2,406. You can do vertical multiplication in this case if you do not have a calculator on you. If you have a calculator, you can just sub it into the calculator and get the answer. So if I wanted to do this vertically, it would look like this. And then I would multiply in order considering the place value. So once you multiply, you will get 60,150 popsicle sticks per one class. And the answer, the correct answer, is A, 60,150 popsicle sticks. This is it for today. Thank you very much for being with me again, and I hope you learned something. Uh, next time, we're working on another two questions, and we'll continue on every Tuesday. So join us uh, every Tuesday for the new lesson. Do not forget to subscribe, not to miss any lessons, so you'll receive reminders about the upcoming uh, videos. Uh, also, uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and everywhere else, and don't forget to visit our website, www.intomath.org, for more practice. Improve your math with us. See ya!